Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be talking about ClipChamp's auto caption features. And I know I did a pre previous videos on how to change the font and the background and all that good stuff, which is awesome. I'm glad ClipChamp has this awesome auto caption feature. But it's still, um, we still need to do a little bit more. Um, some might have asked me, uh, how can we make it more unique? You know what I mean? How we can make it better? Yeah, I was wondering how we can make it uh, where two different people are talking and we want to differentiate the fonts and make it different for uh, all in one clip. All right, guys, we're on Clip Champ again. Now I'm going to use the um, introduction to this little clip, to this little uh, tutorial we're doing, and we added it into the uh, bin here. We already had going it went ahead and did the auto captions here. Um, and if you notice that sometimes it'll have it'll say uh, give you some type of feedback right here. It'll tell you, um, you know, how to make it if you want to make it more accurate. Blah blah. blah. And uh, it seems like they're going to really work on it. So you, maybe in the future they will have something where you can do individually. So we're just going to use this as a, a, a template, uh, if you will, for this. Um, we're going to be entering it manually, so I think that's the only way to do this per se for right now. Uh, we'll add the subtitle timeline here, and then we're going to um, go ahead and basically just, uh, unfortunately, we're just going to copy and paste pretty much. Uh, I would like to see eventually in the future um, the ability to um, go to instead of using your mouse to go over uh it was like a shortcut to enable you to uh go from keyframe to keyframe instead of having clicking because you want to get sometimes you want to get more precise in your editing uh, everyone we're gonna go like this and welcome actually it was supposed to be hello everyone and welcome but here we go it all happens i talk funny and i'm a little sick so Today, we boom, and then that's the first part right here. We'll do that. I'm just using this as an example too. So I think and then we go ahead and transform that a little bit, make it smaller, and we'll add it like right here or something, right below them. All right, and then we'll just keep going as soon as it goes away. We'll I'll cut. We'll do a cut, and uh, we'll go ahead and cut right here. And then this was the next one, and boom, just like that. Now, if you're doing auto captions, uh, and it doesn't sometimes say you don't speak clearly, you know whatever happens. Uh, you can change it in the auto caption section just here, and then that little little shabil will go right here, and you can uh, actually click on it and edit the words itself and the captions. Yeah, I think it'd be one word technically, but it's all good. Oh, we'll lowercase that auto capture. Then we'll go ahead once again, slide it over a little bit. That way it fits the screen. And then we'll just keep keep on cruising. This will take a lot, it's gonna take a lot of time and patience when you're doing this. So that's it. But that's the only workaround. Okay, so you get that idea. We won't do through the whole film because I want to keep this uh short and sweet. But let's get um let's get uh, the next one. Uh the next guy. Scroll over, boom, next guy is popping up. And then you just go ahead and add the subtitle to that timeline. And then you just do it like this, change the font, uh, boom, and then change it. Uh, we'll just do it for this. But you want to be more precise and boom. So he will have his little, uh, We'll actually move this. 
move it over like that per se boom um, mess it a little bit we'll mess it with it a little bit boom so you can do it right there and you can change the color uh background or color of the font period and then just go with it so now and then when you're done with all your captions you just turn auto captions off so again let's just re reiterate real quick uh, you're on the right here. You have your transcript. Um, any errors, just go ahead and fix it out right here. And then go from, it gives you kind of a, uh, these little timeline. It tells you exactly when this, the caption is going to appear. So go through one and then uh, basically you know when to cut the next one. So just type it all out. Unfortunately, it's going to take some time, uh, some patience, and maybe some sweat and tears. But that's how you're going to get uh, two fonts, two different font styles and, and whatnot to uh, tell who's who. So you may not be getting it from, it may not be two people right here, but if you're playing a game or something, there might be uh, two people talking. And you, this is where you want to do that, where it's two captions, two different caption styles under one clip, if that makes sense. I hope this was helpful. If you needed me uh, diving dive more into this, Please let me know. Comment down below. Um, yeah, I figured uh, we're trying to make it short and sweet, and uh, basically you get the idea. And when you're ready, you turn off. You just turn off the auto captions, and then you you'll have your two different uh, players, or captions, different styles, whatever, whatnot. Now I just want to before we end this video, uh, see right here on the right. How can we make captioning better for you? Uh, more accurate captions. Um, uh, improve caption style. Allow styling individual captions. Um, I'm thinking hopefully they're they're so they're listening to us. We might be able to see more control over captions um, and stuff like that. So they they they're working on it. Uh, I believe so. That's all pretty awesome for free stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Happy editing.